ba bum ba bum Vale of Maya with a brand new song, dude. Godhead. Who was excited for this? Whoa. 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 All right. I can't wait. I can't wait. We have a brand new song. I know it's going to be a banger. So that's enough chit chat. So Vale of Maya, Godhead. Wait, where the hell is the chat box? Oh my God. Oh my God. Can we get some more hype? I am talking to myself. <laughs> I'm going to look like such a loser. <laughs> I want to look like I'm schizophrenic or something, man. There we go. There we go. <laughs> you guys are great. Boom, 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 boom. There's Lucas. Ooh, that's a fun little groove right there. Bend it, bend it, bend it, bend it. Resident Evil movie. Oh! Oh! I knew it! Oh! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Remind me of the old stuff. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. I'm not used to them with this much rest. No. <laughs> Yo, that's the Metal Gear Solid font. Is that Spencer Satello? That looked like Spencer. What the shit? What the shit? <laughs> Dude, part one, what's part two? Something sexy? <laughs> Veil of my Godhead. So Lucas, I recently had him on the podcast, right? And he was telling me that this is probably going to be their most heaviest record, but also it's the record with probably the most like variety. There's like, so many different sounds on this record, but yeah, when they go heavy, they're going to go heavy. And he's not lying at all. The first single, holy shit. This was really cool. I absolutely love the rhythms in this, but you know, I'm going to break it down better through the pros and cons. Number one pro is just all the different rhythms in this because this song wasn't very 
like rift focus like you know the common man's collapse like the old days where this was a lot of focus on like zeros and bounce and grooves but there was like constant changes to the patterns of the rift that was just so hard to keep up with everything especially on first listen but i absolutely love all the switches uh pro number two is a weird pro but they really had a lot of negative space in this song, which was unusual for Vale Maya. Vale Maya tends to be a pretty busy band in terms of instrumentals and vocals and drumming, everything going on. So having that space for those like breakdown sections was just uh, like it made me feel uncomfortable, but in a good way because I'm like this is Vale Maya. Like it, of course it's them, but it felt a little bit different. So I really like the use of negative space in this song too. Uh, pro number three is that Lucas continues to just evolve as a vocalist. This was him doing his like best deathcore vocals those lows but like as soon as like the first like initial breakdown hit he got into that low guttural vocal technique but also went right after to like this really high pitch fry and it was just really cool to hear him do something like that especially you know going back to the matriarch days you didn't really hear him do stuff like that so hearing him do like those kind of vocals here was just like a pleasant surprise but um another pro is that even though the song felt like a lot of like gent grooves that were kind of like odd timing and then they kept changing the cool part too was having the ending of the song kind of switch and like it just got a little bit weird and the rhythms just completely changed and had that really fast i can't say if it was like a tapping riff but it sounded just like pretty weird and technical so that moment in the song was just a highlight to shift gears for the entire track sick track cool video spencer satello there's another pro so we gotta wait for part two but let's move on to the cons dude i can't have cons like this is just another solid song like vela maya just they're such a cool band in terms of rhythms and uniqueness it's funny they take a sound that we're all so familiar with in metalcore bridging the line of deathcore but it's those unique little fun rhythms it's the structures it's the flows it's the changing patterns um it's just a certain style that many bands can't replicate so that's why i can't have cons to this this is just another solid veil vale maya song that sounds like old school but also modern um so if i had to give this song a rating 8.6 8.6 is how i'm feeling right now um solid song and I know with the record, there's going to be variety. So who knows? This 8.6 will probably climb up to like a nine or more. Who knows? But guys, that's my thoughts on Vale Maya Godhead. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. So comment down below. Spice up my life. Guys, what you think of this song? I'd love to know. Also, if you've gotten to this point in the end and you haven't clicked off yet, then I appreciate you, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave like during the video. Also, comment down below. <laughs> I like it. Comment down below Vale of Mayo. And if you do, that means you watched the entire video. I don't know, so I'll heart your comment. But on that thing between in, until next time, peace.